So this is the fifth generation Range Rover. Now this is big news because an all new Range Rover doesn't come that often. In fact, this one has come after over a decade. But if you look at it, it looks like an evolution. Well, Range Rover don't want to mess with a proven formula. But this one, look closely, it's softer, rounder, and much cleaner in design. But it's completely packed with tech. It's become bigger, plusher, it's got a new range of engines, and we're gonna try it out right here in sunny California. The less is more philosophy of design boss Jerry McGovern is taken to another extreme with the new Range Rover's incredible simplicity of form. It's much smoother, it's a cleaner design with flush door handles and fewer cuts and creases. The shut lines are also tighter, which further enhances the smooth surface. A feeling of continuity and an uninterrupted visual link to past Range Rovers is a part of its enduring legacy. And that's exactly what most owners want. And to that end, the designers have done an outstanding job of retaining the familiar look but giving lots of modern details. The new LED headlights are slimmer but have exquisite detailing and look like cut glass. Fog lamps are slimmer and neatly integrated into the horizontal lines below the bumper so you don't really notice them. You don't really notice the rear tail lights too because they look like black strips around the split tailgate and are hidden until they light up. Stand some distance away and you can't help but think that the smoother and more rounded shape has taken away some of the tautness or sharper look of the previous model. However, it's clearly a Range Rover and it's clearly a Range Rover for the future. And that future is most evident with high-tech bits under the skin. You have an electronic anti-roll bar which replaces the hydraulic one a new five-link rear suspension, and for the first time, the Range Rover gets rear wheel steering. And this slashes the turning radius to just 11 meters. That's less than other SUVs in Land Rover's lineup. This new platform is also future ready for full electrification and is engineered to take a pair of motors and a large battery pack. A pure electric version is due in 2024. Yes, the new Range Rover is big for the company. It's even big in size. In fact, this all new model is bigger than the previous one in every dimension. The standard wheelbase model is around five meters long and the extended wheelbase variance is stretched by a further 200 mm, all of which goes into making the cabin that much bigger. Let's see what it's like inside. Whoa, look at that legroom. Well, this is the extended wheelbase, the four-seater SV version. And it is very plush. Press a one button recline. And the front seat moves forward. And I can really stretch out. Let's pop the table open. As you can see, Cup holders as well. Whoa. Move over BA. This is Range Rover Airways. Once you haul yourself inside, you'll be gobsmacked by layers of quality material that surrounds you. There is genuinely not an average bit inside. Everything you touch and feel is simply top class. Most Range Rover owners opt for the extended wheelbase version and the flagship SV variants are the epitome of luxury and opulence. For the ultimate luxury, the four-seater Range Rover SV is the one to go for. The rear executive seats come with a 24-way power adjustment, which includes a one-touch operation that simultaneously moves the front passenger seat forward drops a footrest, raises the leg cushion, and of course, reclines the backrest for maximum comfort. This is absolutely first-class travel. 
And if that's not enough to indulge you, there's a massage function and seat cooling as well. And I just love the way the center console electrically folds down and how coolly the electrically powered cup holders and the center folding table glide up and down. In fact, what blows you away is that every function, no matter how small, is electrically operated. The long wheelbase models also come with a three-row, seven-seat option, which is a first for the flagship Range Rover. It goes without saying that all seats are powered, the middle seats glide forward for easy access to the rear seats, which are also powered to fold flat into the boot floor when not in use. Perched nice and high in incredibly comfortable seats, you get a balcony view of the road. Instrumentation is all digital, both the center screen and instrument panel are sharp, crisp and easy to read. The good thing is that the bugs in the earlier PV Pro systems are gone and this latest version is just great to use. There are features galore, more than you know what to do with, especially on the top spec SV models. Let's have a look at them. Engine options for India include the P400, which is a 400 horsepower 3 litre petrol, and the D350, which you guessed, is a 350 horsepower 3 litre diesel. Sadly, the P530 petrol, the BMW Source 4.4 litre twin turbo V8, which produces 530 horsepower, is sadly not coming to India in the launch phase. The 3 litre petrol, it's refined and strong, so if outright performance is what you're looking for, then this is the best option. In fact, the P400 has a willingness to rev, has a nice linear power delivery and a strong top end. But it's the D350 diesel that impressed me most. It's as quiet as the petrol and it's only when you rev it hard that it gets a bit gruff. But that too in a sporty sort of way. What I love is the massive slug of torque dished out between 2,000 and 4,000 RPM. And it really makes this big, heavy SUV feel light on its feet. Now, ride comfort, that's really amazing. It's like you're riding on a pillow of air. In fact, ride quality, it's more luxury sedan than luxury SUV. And riding on these 23-inch wheels, the new Range Rover just flattens everything. Now this is a heavy car, two and a half tons, and you can feel that way through the corners. I'm in dynamic mode and there's still a fair bit of body roll, but the steering, that's really the best part. It's accurate, well-weighted, and that's what gives you the confidence at all speeds. It's only on twisty tarmac that you can feel every kilo of this 2.5 ton beast. Despite all the electronic trickery to keep the high-riding Range Rover on an even keel, when it's pushed hard, it rolls a fair bit in corners, even in dynamic mode. No Range Rover drive can be complete without an off-road sortie. And to showcase its skills, the Land Rover team curated some lovely off-road trails in the wooded Napa Valley region in California. Playing around with the various terrain response settings, the new Range Rover shrugged off everything that was thrown at it. Steep inclines, ruts, rocks, boulders, all tackle like on a Sunday drive. And that massive ground clearance and wheel articulation allows you to go almost anywhere. And it's this duality of character that makes the new Range Rover fascinatingly attractive. It's equally happy taking you to a Bollywood premiere as it would to a desolate mountain pass. The only constant is the pampering owners get on every drive. And that pampering comes at a price. Yes, the new Range is much more expensive than all the Germans, but remember, you're not buying just an SUV, but a special lifestyle experience. <laughs> 